Now, back by popular demand, it's the Lance Roberts Show. And welcome to uh, Tuesday's edition of the Lance Roberts Show. That means, you know what? It's uh, just one day till hump day. So, <laughs> this is now a tradition on the show. The countdown <laughs> the continues. Countdown. <laughs> uh, as we talked about yesterday, don't forget, uh, time is running out. Time is running out. Thursday, right around the corner. Valentine's Day, don't forget. So, I, I know I'm just, you know, right now, you know, there's a bunch of guys driving like, oh, damn! <laughs> don't! <laughs> it's, it's coming up, man. Don't forget, because I, I tell you what, uh, you know, and what's, what's great about my wife is, so, I love my wife. We've been married forever, seems like. I'm hoping it ends soon. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Lance. <laughs> no, no. I'm teasing. Uh, no, she's she's wonderful. She's awesome. But she is. She, she's a fantastic woman, and she's got this trick that she does, right? And I've learned this over the years. Do I want to she, hear this? Yeah, yeah. She goes, that, you know, we've got so much going on right now. Don't worry about buying me a gift. Wrong. Wrong. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's a guarantee. So, you know what I do when she says that? I buy a bigger gift yeah, than I was going yeah. to. <laughs> so. That's That's the equivalent of... Fine. It's, well, no. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's don't, fine. Don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> you Not. know, you be, when they say it's fine, you better worry. <laughs> or when we ask them what's wrong and they go, nothing. You know there's something. Let me tell you something. With Valentine's Day on Thursday this week, if you screw it up, it's going to be a long, long cold <laughs> weekend. <laughs> exactly. And, uh, you know, Monday's President's Day. So, really? Uh, yes. So a lot of people are off work on Mondays. Kids are out of school on Monday. We're working, I believe. Yes, we are working. Yes. We will be here, unfortunately. <laughs> um, we don't get holidays. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so we'll be here. But, yeah, Monday's a holiday. So it could be a real – if you're off on Monday for President's Day, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a really long weekend because it'll be five days. <laughs> Today is actually Lincoln's real birthday. Yes, that is correct. That's what we learned in elementary school. It, they don't teach that anymore, no. by the way. Uh, so, anyway, uh, but, but like I was saying, uh, don't forget, Thursday right around the corner, it is Valentine's Day. So, if you haven't done anything yet, it's not too late. Time to get it done. There you go. Uh, and as we talked about yesterday, swing by your local Kroger's, best flowers in town. <laughs> Word. Word, absolutely. And uh, they'll take good care of you. So, uh, anyway, uh, a lot of things going on today. Futures are pointing higher this morning um, on two things that are actually going on simultaneously. One is... Of course, the trade negotiations with China, that, those negotiations are about to start up here. So a lot of hope right now that we're going to reach some type of trade deal. Now, having said that, of course, the China is playing down the whole trade negotiations in their media. They're saying, oh, this is no big deal. We're just going to go have a visit. Don't really expect a lot to happen. So that's really just kind of a good indication of what their take on these negotiations are. We're very focused on it here. We're going to get something done. Larry, Kel Larry Kudlow, the National Economic Advisor, came out earlier last week and or late, later last week and said, we're still way far apart on any type of deal with China. So expect that the trade talks are going to be extended. Now, I've been saying this since the beginning of the year, that these trade talks are just going to go on and on and on and on. And eventually, the best outcome is that people are just going to get tired of hearing about it, and they're going to forget about it, and then these will eventually just kind of fade into the mist, and, and we'll go on with life. Uh, the reality is we're not going to get a whole lot done here. China's not going to back off their deal. There's not a lot that we can do currently, and, and eventually, this is going to put the Trump administration in a, in a bit of a tough position in terms of corporations because those tariffs are weighing on corporate profitability. We're about to move into the first year-over-year -year negative growth rate in profits in corporations over the last decade. So, again, just keep a watch on this. This is going to be uh, this will be something that markets will focus on here temporarily. Um, the the reality is is that we're unlikely to get any type of real trade deal struck. This is has always been the case. Um, ever since we launched this back in uh, February of 2018, when these initial trade wars and tariffs were started. Um, we said then that the outcome of this was likely not to be really anything to write home about. And ultimately, we'll probably wind up about where we started. So this whole deal will likely end up right where we started. And of course, then at that point, at least it'll be over with and markets can get on with their life. Uh, the other thing is that the reason markets are up today 
Uh, this morning, anyway, uh, futures are pointing solidly higher. We're up about 20 points on the S&P right now. Now, that doesn't really resolve anything. That doesn't get us back above the 200-day moving average at this point. We're still, uh, I just wrote a uh, technically speaking post. It's out on our website now uh, at realinvestmentadvice.com called Stuck in the Middle with You because we just remain stuck between these two moving averages. Currently, uh, the 50-day and the 200-day moving average, we've been unable to break out of that range. Now, where the market breaks out to out of this range, whether it's to the upside or to the downside, it's going to be very important. Uh, this consolidation that we're having between these two moving averages are allowing the markets to kind of build up some, some powder, so to speak. So any move above the 200-day moving average will give us a nice advance, probably back towards all-time highs. A breakdown below the 50-day moving average is going to take us back down towards the recent lows of December. So again, there's, there's consequences to what happens here. And uh, one thing that's going to be moving the markets today, of course, is the proposal that's being put out a a a bill was agreed to at least uh, by the uh, committee was put together on the border wall funding of course the funding of government remember we just had the government shutdown that ended three weeks ago friday is the deadline for that three-week extension uh, for government funding and that bill only includes 1.3 billion dollars for border security not a border wall not what uh, Donald Trump has been demanding. Of course, Donald Trump has been demanding $5.7 billion to build a physical barrier. He was in El Paso last night with a crowd of about 11,000 people. Of course, Juarez, right across the border from El Paso, one of the most dangerous cities in the world. Of course, El Paso is ranked as one of the safest. And of course, they're pointing to the border wall as evidence that, hey, that works. That helps secure the city. So. He had 11,000 people last night talking about this, the importance of this border wall, and this bill is going to hit his desk in the course of, of the next uh, 24 hours or so to extend the government and uh, no border wall funding. So expect that bill to be rejected, and very likely we're going to wind up in another shutdown. He is probably going to opt at some point here soon to use a national security emergency to help fund, uh, to get funding for the border wall. That is not going to set well with the Democrats, and when that happens, look for this extension of the government shutdown and potentially more angst and, and really lack of any legislation to get passed before the end of his first term because this is going to deeply, deeply, deeply divide the right and the left in Washington. That's going to potentially affect the economy and the market, so pay close attention to that. That's going to be really kind of ramping up over the next 48 hours. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back. Got lots of stuff to get into today, so hang around for more of The Lance Roberts Show. Don't go away. Want a longer talk with Lance about your money? Request a personal one-on-one -on -one at LanceRobertsShow.com.